Hello people of all kinds, Scorching Cliffs here. Today it's time to do a review of the new Dream on Dreamer song, uh, one of my favorite metalcore bands, titled Stay. Been looking forward to this new song, um, comes, coming out earlier than I expected since their last album, uh, Songs of Solitude, did not come out that long ago, but um, I'm not complaining. So you know, of course, I've listened to the song quite a few times now, about five or six times, and um, it's good. Okay, yeah, I need to elaborate on that, of course. See, I say it's good, but I feel like they could have done a bit more with this idea. Now, to put this into perspective, um, it kind of reminds me a lot of the uh, the song Don't Lose Your Heart, which they released as a standalone single. Kind of hoping this song's not a standalone single as well, because, you know, Dream on Dream has always been more of an album band for me. Um, and it kind of sucks when bands just release... Uh, pretty good songs, but just on their own, so you can't listen to them as a full experience. Um, but anyway, what I'm saying is, Don't Lose Your Heart had this problem for me. Um, you know, I had a piano, but the piano wasn't doing anything interesting. It was just there to do chords, just like the guitars and the bass. Now this new song, Stay, doesn't have a piano in it, but it has the same problem of not really having an interesting riff. Or not even really having a riff at all, at least not a memorable one or one that carries a song, there's no lead guitar, which is kind of disappointing for me, considering that one of my favorite things about Dream on Dreamer is how melodic and great some of the get lead guitarists are on their songs. You know, you go back and listen to Loveless and Heartbound, there's just some amazing guitar work on those albums. Um, and there was still some amazing guitar work on their previous album, but, uh, like I say, with this new song, I'm finding the same problem that I had with Don't Lose Your Heart. There's not really any interesting lead guitar, or any lead guitar at all, for that matter of fact. Instead for lead, we kind of get these, um, you know, these uh, atmospheric synths that go in and, in the background. Uh, give the album, uh, give the song some atmosphere, and, and I like them. Um, but they've always been on their, their songs, and I've, I've always liked them. But that doesn't mean they have to replace the guitars or anything like that. I mean, that is really my main complaint with the song. But let's talk about some good things. The song's got a really strong chorus, sang of course by Zachary Britt, while um, in the verses, Marcel does some clean singing and then switches to some harsher, more... Um, I'd say some kind of light screams. Not Nothing really that brutal, but that makes it pretty easy listening. Um, I'm not someone who complains about how heavy or brutal something is, so I don't really care that they're not like as brutal as they were on, say, Loveless. Um, although I do kind of uh, like the intensity that brutal screams can provide. Um, this provides more or less the same effect for me anyway. So yeah, um, it's a good song, I guess. Like, I, I really want to say something more about this song, but like, there's just... There's not a lot new here, and it's it's a good standalone song, I guess. Um, but I do feel like they could be doing something to set themselves apart a little bit more. And I mean, I already felt like they were unique for having some really amazing lead guitar, and also just some really deeply personal lyrics back in their uh, first few albums. Um, but I feel like they're going in this direction now that kind of somewhat resembles Radio Rock, but doesn't quite go as far as completely changing to that um, so that they can still kind of keep their original fan base. I think they've done a pretty good job of sustaining their fan base, but still I feel like they could be doing more with this idea, like I said. I mean, it is after all just a sort of typical three minute song and I, I honestly feel like it will be much better once we see it on an album, if, if it is on an album. I hope it's not a standalone single, because uh, that, that, I never like that, okay? <laughs> Looking back historically onto some of their previous albums, um, they haven't always had the best lead-off singles. Um, I remember look, seeing, uh, hearing Vertigo for the first time off of, song of Songs of Solitude, and not really liking it that much. It took quite a while to grow on me. And I'd also say the same about maybe Downfall um, from their first debut album, Heartbound. Uh, that, that, that song kind of feels a bit generic considering that they've got a lot, of, a lot more interesting moments on some of their other songs that 
really grab your attention a lot more. Well, at the very least, I don't have to uh, complain about this song being generic metalcore, but maybe it's generic in some other areas, let's be honest. But hey, if they can get the album right, hope if there is an album, uh, this song should be great, I think. I think this song will be fine. Um, shouldn't really have any issues of it as long as it works with the overall scheme of things with the rest of the songs on an album. Because that's sort of how Dream on Dreamer seems to work for me. But yeah, that's all there really is to say about this song now, so I guess, ta-ta!